Good evening, I'm Elaine Quijano. President Trump is standing firm on his decision to delay the deportations of thousands of people living in the country illegally. This after an about face on the controversial issue yesterday and making new demands on Democrats. Errol Barnett is at the White House. President Trump ignored questions as he returned to the White House today, but he was talking. We're That's doing tough. a fantastic job under the circumstances. In a newly released interview, President Trump praised his administration's treatment of detained migrants and their families, despite criticism of the conditions at border facilities. He also blames Democrats for the problems. If they changed asylum and if they changed loopholes, everything on the border would be perfect. This weekend, the president reversed himself and delayed his plan to catch and deport illegal immigrants, including families. It happened after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi spoke with the president on Friday, requesting a postponement. She welcomed the news, tweeting families belong together. For those feeling threatened, Senator Kamala Harris offers this. There are those of us who will fight for you and your rights every day. My message to them is do not live in fear. The Democratic mayor of Oakland, California, did not pull her punches, saying the president's rhetoric is causing harm. His threats are meant to terrorize good communities like the ones in Oakland. After overnighting at Camp David, President Trump spent much of today at his Virginia golf course before returning here to the White House. And he described his decision to delay today's deportations as a last chance for Democrats or else. Elaine? All right, Errol Barnett, thank you.